Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy with Amy Plans Things and today I have an unboxing and flip through. This is all from The Daily Grind. They were so kind and asked if I'd like to try this stuff out and sent me a bunch of goodies. I checked out their site, looked at, you know, reviews and stuff and thought it would be interesting to try out. There are two things that got me. One, these covers are super cute and this paper is supposed to be so thick. So we're going to take a look and see what we think. It is a daily planner, so we'll take a look at how it's set up and how it's different from Happy Planner and what I think. It is disc bound, which is what I love. I won't ever go away from disc bound, so this really sold me as well to try it out. So they sent me a bunch of stuff. They sent me some discs. They sent me some pens and highlighters, which we'll try out. And it looks like they sent me their whole summer kit, which has a bunch of covers, stickers, washi, some discs, etc. But let's first just look at the planner and then take a look at everything else. We'll do pen tests and all of that. All right, does this fit in the screen? Not quite. Let's do a little adjustment while we're here. Okay, this is slightly bigger than a classic happy planner, but smaller than a big. It is 10 discs. So I think it is seven by 10. All right, and this paper is thick. This is a four month planner. So look at that, that's so thick. All right, so this is super cute and it's got these nice little corners on it to make sure it holds up and it's got this nice part here as well for turning the pages and then it's really thick here. All right, let's actually move this up just a little bit more. All right, you're gonna see that shadow here from the lamp, but whatever. I want you to see the whole thing. I want to see the whole thing of this. All right, so I chose the coffee cover for the main planner cover because I'm constantly drinking coffee. It is 5.22 a.m. and I wake up early. If you're new here, I have two kids. Um, one is four and one is seven months old currently. So my sleep is a bit wacky and I wake up early and get a lot done early in the morning. Oh, this is cool. Look, there's a morning routine cover. So healthy and productive ideas. This is awesome. Listen to music, exercise, journal, drink a glass of water. That's awesome. Cool. Okay, and then they have some introduction pages. So let me just read this for a minute. I'm not going to read it aloud. You can pause and read for yourself if you'd like. So there's the Facebook group. If you have the planner, so you can get support and look at how you're going to use it. it says this will be the first planner you use from cover to cover and you'll be blown away by what you accomplish over the next few months. So let's see. Oh, this is thick. This is just one page. It's very thick. Okay, so this is an example of what the pages look like. Um, so this is a month in review page. And let's see. Proudest moments where I can improve what worked this month, what didn't work. And then improvement ideas over to the right. Your top 10 goals, which goes into the daily page as well. Cool. Then you number it and important dates, must do's, ideas and thoughts. Okay. And then it has a week in review page. Just seeing how you fill it all out is pretty cool because it is a lot more in depth than Happy Planner daily pages, which are pretty blank, which is nice for to-do lists, but this seems more about like goal setting. So they're kind of different and might both 
be useful. All right, so of course the baby just woke up, so I had to feed him, get him back down, and all of that, and now it's 5.37, so we're a little bit later, but we're still looking at this. I'm excited to keep flipping through and figure all of this out. It does look so useful and super different from the Happy Planner Daily pages, so I feel like they could be used in tandem for different things. Like, this is more about your goal setting and what you're going to do that day on those goals. You could use all 10 of your goals for the month, or maybe do like five and do two items from each thing. Like, it doesn't have to be exactly as they show, but super cool either way. And just like Happy Planner pages, you can always cover things with stickers if you're not going to use something specific that day. All right, so here's that example page. And then now we're to a four-month vision setting page. This is cool. Where I am today, how far I want to go, where will I waste time, what I can do well, what I want to accomplish, how I will celebrate, how I can be more consistent, and the biggest goal. And here's a habit tracking sheet for the vision. That's fun. All right, I love how this is all on dot grid paper and feels kind of Bujo, kind of um, Bujo-esque, I guess you would say. It's super fun and these pages are so thick. All right, so then blank page, that's cool. Space for that and month ahead. So this is where it all really starts after the vision. Lists, goals, and thoughts. So this is kind of like the, your brain dump sheet um, for big ticket items perhaps. And then another blank page. That's cool. And a whole other side of it too. Cool. Okay. We can review week ahead. Lots of blank pages to do stuff with. Add in journaling, whatever you want. All right, and then you just have these daily pages. So, does it do seven of them? And then a week in review and week ahead. Then your blank page. And then seven more. Week in review, blank page. Okay. And then... How many does it go? Okay, month ahead, list goals, thoughts. So there are no dividers in this. There's some dividers in the summer kit, it looks like. So we'll look at those. So dividers between the months, but then it's just a whole bunch of pages, four months worth of all of these. Okay, cool. Um, looks super cute. Um, I will do a test page to test these pens and markers out because this is so thick. I want to see how it does with these pens and with some of my favorite pens and things like that. But also later I will do a little um, test of these pages and how they work for me. And I'm not sure if I'll do that as a video on YouTube or on Instagram like as a reel so make sure you're following me over there um because i'm gonna figure out how i want to use this without filming and then show the like afterwards how it worked out um because a new planner you kind of have to get used to and get into and it might take me longer than normal to just figure out how i'm going to use this it really looks great for goal setting I'm super excited for that, but then of course I need to figure out what I want my goals to be right now. Um, so it's just going to take a little bit of time to figure out, but super cute. I like these thick pages. Okay, do we want to look at summer kit stuff or do the pen tests first? Let's do the summer kit first and then do the pen tests. Okay, because I think this planner is so thick, I think I'm going to take a month of it and put a month onto some of these summer things before it gets too late. So let's do that. So 
there are three covers. Oh, I want something on the back. Does this one have something on the back? Yes. In four months, you can either be in the same place or a better place. It's go time. Cute. Okay. This one's all green. Look, slow down summer mindfulness challenge and summer bucket list. Mornings are for coffee and contemplation. That's cute. Do these have the same thing on the inside or something different? Protect your peace on this side and that. That's super cute. How am I gonna choose you guys? Okay. These have the same, the same bucket lists on them. Make ish happen. Oh, this pool one is cute. Okay, how am I gonna decide, you guys? Um, I feel like this one I could use even in September too. And this one could be used any time of year. This one is really the one that needs to be used for the summer, summer. So we're going to use that one first. And I have three sets of discs here. Let's use the pink ones, of course. <laughs> All right. So let's see how these go on. Because this is all really, really thick. We're gonna do one cover at a time. All right, this is easy to put on. These discs feel very similar to Happy Planner plastic discs. Um, they just are, you know, solid all the way through and super cute. All right, so it looks like you get 11 discs, probably just in case one breaks. So I'll put that one to the side. Are they the same size as the Happy Planner discs? Uh, they are essentially the same size, but I think very slightly bigger by like millimeters. Um, they feel very similar in terms of thickness though. So I think you could definitely like use them on happy planner things or vice versa. Of course, if you're trying to put sheets together from happy planner to this, you're going to have different sizes of paper. So, I mean, totally cool if you used like this cover and had this planner and then wanted to add in some um, classic sized pages, they would fit just be a one disc short, which is okay. Um, it just wouldn't totally line up all the way. All right. This one is harder to do this way. <laughs> Probably should have used my other hand. It's more used to doing the discs. Okay, we're going to get a month on here because I want to use this one. Um, this one's super cute, but I can't get away from a seasonal thing and I'll run out of time to use that. So let's see, how far is a month? Did I already pass a month? I think I might've already passed a month. Okay. Maybe not. Okay, we're gonna go one week at a time. I'm so, this is paper is so thick. I'm just so confused by how big uh, the planner is, but the paper's thick and awesome. Um, goes that way. too much to take out at once. <laughs> okay. Okay, 
here's the month ahead page. So that is the end there. Yes. All right. So we're going to put that into this planner so that it's a little bit smaller and fun to carry around and try this thing out. I will update you guys. I will do a video at some point showing kind of a flip through of, you know, multiple pages in weeks to show you how it's gone and give you my thoughts because I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm going to tell you the good and the bad and everything um, of how I'm liking this so far. I really like these covers. They're so thick. I really like these pages. They're so thick. I'm unsure about the paper size because I'm so used to the classic size. It is bigger than the Happy Planner Classic, but I'm not against it necessarily. It's just I'm used to everything being kind of, you know, one size. So we'll see about that. Verdict's out on that just because I'm so used to it. But right, look at this fun cover. Then we've got these and those. So they do have new dot grid paper. I might have to pick up some. It's like $7.99 for a pack of the dot grid paper that fits this. And um, then you can put in your own dividers and have like another section in this if you separate it out into a month's worth. Um, which one do I want to use? I'm just looking at the colors of the front. I think I kind of want to use this one. It's got the pink and the yellowy and the blue. Okay. So we're going to put that there. Tab divider stickers. Let's put it for... it's. See, the problem is it's mid-July. It's July 21st. Do I start using this immediately or do I start using it August 1st and just take some time to set it up? Let's take some time to set it up and have it be August start because I like things starting on the first of the month. <laughs> All right, do we have two August stickers? Yes. All right, cool. So we've got a tab there. If I get more dividers, I will totally create, you know, some other things. These are also really nice to put on the Happy Planner dividers because, like, um, they're really nice little stickers. Cool. Okay. So let's take a look at the rest of the summer kit. Oh, gosh. This is so cute, you guys. Ah, I love it. Okay, here's some washi. I also love washi. Let's try it out on this paper that we're going to do a pen test on. Okay, actually, give me a minute to open these, and then we'll do it. All right, that took me a moment to get into them. I just painted my nails last night, and if you've been following me for a while, I haven't been able to do my nails for a while. Um, you know, seven month old and all of that. And so last night after he went to bed, I took the time to watch a show and do my nails, and it was super fun. I was trying to open these without messing up the nails, um, just so that they last a little longer. But yeah, he's been teething, and it's been wild. He's we see like seven different teeth that are working on starting to come down and it's a race to see which one actually like comes out first um but we can spot seven teeth that are working their way down so it's been it's been um a rough couple of weeks for him let's put it that way and um either way with a baby I don't have time to do my nails that often so um, I'm just glad to have done them in a bright summery color and super fun. Look at that. That is cute. And 
this one's very retro. Oh. If I can get it straight, which I apparently cannot. Uh, close enough, that's pretty good. to make it straight ish I love these I love these little floaties okay and then this one's super cute and might be my favorite um it's just like basic but not because it's got all the squiggly lines kind of retro still super cute all right so we've got those those are fun there are a lot of stickers here, kind of sticker kits, which I'm not used to the kits as much, but it looks like everything fits perfectly with the planner. So this is the Peace Love Summer Daily Kit, sheet one and sheet two. Let's just double check. I think they're gonna fit here. So let's just see real quick. Yeah, so you can put that down, then write in your goals. And then these boxes look like they fit there, so you can make it colorful. You could also use highlighters. Um, and then little decorations in these. You can put over those things to um, cover them up with colorful things as well super cute okay so this is the peace love and summer daily kit all right let's see we have a couple more daily kits and something else all right this is the tropical vibes daily kit sheet one and sheet two so these match this planner cover pretty well. I guess each of these matches a planner cover, which is cool. And then 70s Summer Daily Kit. So I'll definitely be using these um, as I get into the planner. Um, I think I'll probably share some reels of setting these up because it may take me a little bit longer to figure things out. So make sure you're following me over on Instagram to see how I set up these pages. All right, look at these cute little decorative stickers. All right, so this is one page. So these are all paper. These are like clear and really thick. They're nice. So that's like kind of more retro and this is more just summer fun. Cute. All right, I'm excited to set this up and get into it. Um, so I'll do some setups on Instagram and then start using it in August and in mid-August maybe give um, a video update of how it's going and what I'm feeling um, about this planner. So far it looks like it has a ton of potential and everything seems super high quality which I really love. Like this is thick and just the vibe is so cool. All right so we've got all these pens Let's try them out. All right, so these are just daily grind pen collection. They're 0. 0.5, which I like. Um, I use a 0. 0.7 um, usually for my everyday writing, and it's just a little bit too thick. Um, but I love the S gel pen because it writes so smoothly, so I just go with it. But I do like a 0. 0.5 better for writing. Um, so we'll see how these go.
Well, it's pretty smooth. And I don't see any bleed through. There's the tiniest bit of shadow with these bright lights on. But I mean, in everyday situation, I don't think I'd see that. Yeah, I can't see it over here. Um, so I see it with these bright lights, but I don't think I'd see it otherwise. So let's just try out these other pens. I'll put them all back on their little thing later. We're just gonna... There's a red. Do these have labels of names? No. Okay. So I'm just gonna name them. Oh, that's a, what is that? Maybe I won't label them with names because <laughs> that is kind of a ready magenta. But this is kind of, this is more pink, okay. Well, we're gonna go this way anyways. It's quicker, but so far these work well. They glide well. Um, they're not like scritchy scratchy, which I find, I love the 0.5 size, but I haven't found really good pens that I love at the 0.5 size because they don't always feel really good um, to write with. These ones feel pretty good. I wouldn't say that it feels as good as a Sharpie S gel to write with, but it's definitely better than the other 0.5s I've tried. There are a lot of colors, which is cool. definitely try these out. They're working pretty well. That black one feels really nice. Okay, let's just see. Yeah, no bleed through or anything. This page is like 160 something GSM or something like that, so it's like really thick. Um, I'll put all that away later. <laughs> all right, highlighter collection. So these look similar to a highlighter that I bought on Amazon to try out a while ago. Um, they might be the same thing, just daily grind, um, you know, labeled, but let's try them out. Um, those highlighters that I tried from Amazon, I thought were pretty good and very aesthetic with their look. Um, okay, these are already a little different because they're double-sided. I don't think the other ones were double-sided, but they were like kind of rectangular like this and um, all of that. All right, so this is a very, very light peach or tan. Yeah, seems pretty good. It's very light. Um... I'm used to the mild liners and they're very, very bright, but these are more neutral, I guess, which could be good to have as well. Oh, this pink is a nice pink. nice. These are pretty good highlighters. These will be great for when the sticker kits are used up because those will only last for, you know, so many days or weeks. Um, and then use the highlighters to, you know, add some color to the page. 
because it is a pretty full page compared to other daily pages I've used. This one's really light. It's kind of like minty. It's pretty cute, um, but very light. All right. Um, so the pages are pretty full compared to other daily pages. So you don't have as much room to add, you know, other things that you want. So that's one downside I'm seeing right now. Um, but we'll see how I work that out. I mean, it may be that this turns into a goal setting planner for me and the monthly I was using for goal setting or that I was starting to use, um, I don't use. And then I continue daily pages as needed from Happy Planner for like to-do lists. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm super excited about all this. And these highlighters are actually pretty cute. Definitely more muted colors than I'm used to because I'm used to the mild liners. But I kind of like them. Not to say I won't use my mild liners um, ever again because I totally will. And I do a lot of like art and doodling with them and stuff. But these kind of have a good vibe. I don't know. So what I'm feeling from the Daily Grind Planner is just this really fun vibe. Like the themes of the planners on the outside. The whole, you know, everything that I got. The vibe of their social media presence. Like everything is just, it's a vibe. It's fun. Um... So I'm going to try it out, I'm going to see how it is, and I'll keep you all posted. Um, but I think there's a lot of potential here. Let me know in the comments what you think, if the daily page is just too busy for you, or if it's something you'd like to try and make your own, and all of that. Um, super cool. They do have some new like inserts and things like that to go with it that I didn't get to try. And I do, I will have a coupon code and an affiliate link so if you'd like to try it out um I'll list all that down below because I don't know what those will be yet but yeah this is definitely gonna be interesting to try out and I'm really excited by these pages I definitely think I'll need to get some of the blank insert pages to just have blank dot grid to add in and make some other sections um yeah super super excited by this to try out. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to use it for August, see what happens, um, and I'll keep you all posted. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.